Nicola Sturgeon's plans for an independent Scotland were brutally exposed during an interview with the Andrew Marr. The BBC's Andrew Marr exposed the cost of rejoining the European Union as an independent Scotland in a fiery interview with Nicola Sturgeon. He told the Scottish First Minister that, despite her own claims, EU membership would require a border between Scotland and England. Ms Sturgeon struggled to respond, as she insisted that Scotland would negotiate with both the UK and EU to ensure businesses do not suffer. The host said, EU regulations absolutely commit you to a physical border post along the Scotland-England border. You may wish Brexit hadn't happened but it has happened. Where we are now, entering the EU and being a part of the single market, requires a physical border with England, for Scotland. The only way out of that is to persuade the EU to give up on the single market regulations as they apply to Scotland, good luck with that. He added, or you could persuade the English to give up on Brexit, and good luck with that. Ms Sturgeon insisted she wanted Scotland to be able to flow freely with the European single market and across the England border. She added, we will negotiate those arrangements so business don't suffer. According to the IFS, your deficit is going to head as high as 25% of GDP. That is much, much higher than the rest of the UK and vastly worse than the 3% EU requires for candidates. Whatever its origins, you are facing a really big deficit which has to be closed somehow. In this campaign, you are offering lots of new public services and public money. My question is very simple, how are you going to close the deficit? The SNP leader responded, we are choosing to invest in things like 100,000 new affordable homes that will kick-start economic activity. Longer term, if you project to when Scotland is independent, we will deal with a deficit in the same way that any other country around the world deals with a deficit. You manage your finances through borrowing and prudent decisions. Scotland would not be unique to have a deficit. The Scottish First Minister compared the Prime Minister's refusal to approve a new vote on independence to the former US President's refusal to accept his election loss last year.